On a personal note, I had the distinct pleasure of calling Charlie a friend and mentor for well over 30 years. Told you. Uh, Charlie was the owner-operator of Bangor Burr Bowling Center and is arguably the best bowler to ever come out of the state of Maine. He was a husband, a father to four, and a grandfather to many, a friend and mentor to hundreds if not thousands of bowlers that came through uh, Bangor Brewer, along with many here today. Uh, he may have been a complex man, as many of us know, but he loved the game of Campbell and Bowling. He would do anything for a friend, and he is deeply missed. And I didn't know Trevor all that well. I only knew him from here, but honestly, Trevor was one of the nicest guys that I've ever met on the lanes. Uh, and he was, yeah, he was a hell of a bowler. Uh, and I think many in Moncton would say the same thing. So if we can have a moment of silence for Charlie and Trevor and anyone else that has passed in the past year. Thank you guys. All right, let's, let's get the anthem queued up. Do the anthem, and then we'll get going. Make sure that music down. That's good. Facebook rules. Are we on? Are we live? <laughs> Let's get it going. First bowler up, next ball you throw, we'll come. Good luck, everybody. Welcome to the World Tournament from Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Massachusetts. Hub 125. First of 11 qualifying rounds, Paul Graham, Bob Lee on Candleton Bowling Network. Thank you for joining us this morning. First of three matches today, tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday, 
including the opening round playoffs, and then Saturday will be with you for the first quarterfinal round and the semifinals. Ali Chow will have the finals later on Saturday. Today, it's Academy Lanes versus Team USA. We're on lane 35 and 36. It's going to be Sean Sears for Team USA, Aaron, Aaron Halvadel, Tim Hazer, Jason Garthia Jr., Jeff Walsh, Yanker. For Academy Lanes, Mark Gregory, the veteran, Jeremy Seaholm, Corey Packer, Justin Waters, and Danny Harris. We're on lanes 35 and 36. Welcome to Bob Lee. All right, the next ball will be live. It will come out of the hand of Sean Sears on lane 36 on your right, Paul. If you can, uh, probably will talk on the left. Sean Sears to 1, 8, and 10. He's got three pieces of wood. Sean from Chicopee, Massachusetts. Very high average of 117. Here's Mark Gregory. Close left has the pack of five with a piece of wood in the seven pin left corner. Nice ball. Oh, he got it. What a shot. Way to start the world tournament. Mr. Rock, paper, scissors. Sean Sears. Gregory, good second ball. Leads up to two, correction to three and the six. Gregory, nice out, oh, ten. First of three strings. First of three matches. Mark from Beverly, Massachusetts. 110 current average, clear high for a season, 134. A beast is prime. Sears on the bonus, nine. Seven pin left up. <laughs> Mark Gregory on the head pin has the 247. Sears, two in a row, has got it. 29 of the ball through two in the first of three. First of three matches. Mark Gregory's high single 202. Missed the object pin. Gregory going it for nine. 19 through two. Early 10 pin lead. For Team USA, plus a bonus ball from Sean Sears. We've been struggling of late, only rolling 100 average, but starts off strong here. A spare nine and a spare. Second bowl is a five. Aaron Halbadell on the right for Team USA. Jeremy Seahome, co host of the Approach podcast with Danny Finn on the left. Halbadell, and pin nine. Four pin left up. 72% success rate for Pro Bowls on Wooden. Single pins. And Jeremy Seahome, a lemon drop. Go for Kenneth Prince of Cancer. Apple missed. Seom has some work, work to do here. Five standing. Alphadel. All grand special. Missed the second, make the third. Ten. All stats today provided by Candleton Bowling Network. Seom, nice out for an eight. Thank you so much on YouTube. On Kenneth and Bowling Network, all across the digital platforms. Apple, nice ball for a strike. It's nine. Nine pin remains. See him on the head pin. Breaks up the split. The two four left. I'm worried. Ah, wood went away. Seahome's open. Alpadal, 10. Two tens, 20 through 2. He's from Warren, Massachusetts. Seahome a 10, 18 through 2. So Team USA early lead, 49-37. And they run a bonus ball. Sean Sears beat up bowler. Tim Hazer on the right for Team USA. Corey Packard on the left. For Academy Lanes. 
February 20, 52 years old, later this month. We suck in Massachusetts. It's a 130 career high average for the season, currently 117, with a high single 195. Hazer, half was to right, about the three and nine. Tim also from Chickabee, Mass. Hackett had been as a 2 1 split. The 7 in the corner, the 2, yeah, 3 6 right. Hazer on the head pin. Good effort, won't go. That's the 6 and the 7. Half Woods has only converted 20% of the time for four bowls on wood. Hackett tried to take it over on the Andre pin, but 2 4. Corey Bulls of Bogey Lanes, East Brookfield, Massachusetts. Kayser starts up with a nine. Hack also a nine. Tim, 122 average currently, career high average for a season, 125. Just 24 years old. High single of 191. High triple 445. High five 683. Perfect shot. Spread eagle. Spread eagles convert only 1% of the time. All stats for pro bowls that would. Hackett crossing over at 8. That's the 3 and the 9. Two pieces of wood to help. <coughs> Hazer could try. Would circle over there. Spun around but couldn't get to the ends. That's the 247. Probably on the score cam and the technology. Hacker takes his time. Can't be really much better that wood to completely stop before he throw the ball. Going for a spare. And it won't go. Hayes a nice spinning 10, 19 for 2 for Team USA. Hack at 10, 19 for 2 also. Justin Waters on the left for Academy Lanes, coming for 715 ACST, Atlanta Camp and Simmons Club. Week and a half ago. Focus his high triple is now 419 also. Golf pro. Great swinging action his arm. Here's Jason Gothier Jr. He took the half foot still left the two and the eight. The 32 teams in the singles knockout yesterday won by Chris Merrill from Maine. Watch all those on Ball Network. Justin Waters from Ryan Film Amusements, Millis, Massachusetts, home of Danny Finn's over on the bear. That's a six dead square chance. Jason Four, six, ten. I'll go for the short two. Waters for spare. Got it. Ten the ball to start. The World Championship matches here. Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. Got here a nine. Jason from Holy Oak, Mass. Just 25 years old. High single of 179. High triple of 444. Pulls out of Canal Lanes. This is 2.7 pound urethane bowling balls. Jason goes right, got a break, that's the one, two, and the nine. Waters, head bend, strike, on spare, wow, Waters world. 20 through one, 30 plus two through two. Okay, missed right, that's the one and the two. While we were doing some play-by-play -play also, trying to preserve our voices. It's only day one of team competition. It's about to get to 10, 19 through 2. Thrilling match just yesterday, Bob Lee in the uh, singles knockout one by Chris Merrill. Yeah. I, I'm just, uh, I'm still wowing over the uh, big strike on spare from uh, Justin Waters. Uh, huge start from Sean Sears right now with his team in the lead. Up until that moment, now we're, we're coming into the uh, anchors with both teams. 87, 86. Jeff Walsh on the right for Team USA. On the head pin, he's got, I missed the head pin, rather. He's got the 147. We're way back and high above court side here, Bob. <laughs> Danny Harris, three in that first ball. 
for Academy Lanes. Walsh for a spare. Got it. Beautiful shot. Harris had been hit to try. All but the 10 pin. Jeff be turning 40, uh, 39 years old. Next week. Harris at 10. Jeff Walsh from Sandy Down, New Hampshire, originally Somerville, Mass. Has an average of 116 overall, 124 career high for a season, with a high single of 194, a high triple of 445, and an impressive high five of 707. Out of Riverwalk Lanes, Amesbury, Mass. In Academy Lanes here at Amesbury, Mass. On the bottom strike, on square, wow! Harris for a strike, it's nine. Walsh 22-1, 30 plus two through two. Harris with a six pin. And for a spare, got it. 20 to ball through two. we through the first two boxes for this match, Bob. It's been a good one already. That's right, we got a uh, spare. That's going to be 20 to ball for uh, Andy Harris. It's an 11 pin lead now. Team USA after the first time through. But uh, as you can see, and both teams are on a strike, and both teams are on a spare. Okay, back to the top of the order. Mark Gregory throwing. In the pocket, he has a 3 1 split. Mark at 10 to 9, 19 through 2 to start. Sean Sears, spare 9 is spare. On the bonus, 7. Generous lead, the 1, 2, and the 7. 30. Six through two in the first of three from Academy Lanes, Pub 125, Haverhill, Mass. Gregory, nice ball, good try. Oh, three spares in a row for Sears. What a start, 46 in the ball through three. Outstanding. Gregory, a nine. 28 through 3. So substitution rules apply, Bob. They can substitute somebody out as long as not a mark through the first five boxes. Typically, they'll make a move at the four boxes. So if someone's struggling, they can make a lineup change. But if they're on a fifth box and they get a mark, they have to stay in. So usually they pull them up to four boxes if you want to make a change. That's right. So we'll have to watch for that very carefully. We're, we're, we're a little bit away from the action behind. This is actually a good live view. You might have to use this. Mark Gregory. That's the glare a piece of wood. See a strike on Skinner! Incredible start! Wow! He's got four in a row to start the match. 56 through 3. 66 plus 2 through 4. Sensational. Gregory for spare. I could try. Shum is embarrassed to put down his current average. He said it was 94 to 100 recently. In a bad slump. But he's back to the glory days. It was 117 average. Mark Gregory at 10. 38 through 4. Pinning well without a mark. Jeremy see him on the right for Academy Lanes. They switch sides every two boxes. Aaron Halvadel on the left for Team USA. Jeremy 18 through 2. Aaron Fair 10 20 through 2. Jeremy stops the one drop. First box. That's the 1, 3, 6, 9. Halvadel drills 9. Six pin left up, two pieces of wood to help. See him for a spare. Got it. Beautiful shot. It was a smooth, steady ball. He's on the board. 28 to ball through three. Halfadel matches. 30 to ball through three here in the first of three from Haverhill. Mass. Aaron, what a birthday is November here in this match. Aaron will be turning 26 later this month. Seaholm on the bonus gets eight. He's got a good to help. He has the one and the eight. 36 through three. Halbadel was right. Breaks up the Clary. That's the one, two, four, seven. Four horsemen. 36 through three. Seaholm for another one. Got it. Back to back spares. 46 in the ball through four. 
Al Bedell, everything but the head pin. Marion has a 117 average at canal lanes, 110 average at bogey lanes. High single of 174. He gets a 9. 45 through 4. Tim Hazard on the left for Team USA, 19 through 2. As is Corey Pack on the right for Academy Lanes. Tim Hazard's high single, 191. High triple, 445. High five, 683. Corey, very impressive. 130 season high average, as you said earlier, 117 now. Ed Pimmon, a tough lead. The five in the middle, the nine to the right, seven left corner. Hazard, nice ball, eight, has the four and seven. We get louder and louder as the week goes on here. Packer, nice try. If you want to watch Kevin from bowling, that's fine. Just come on down to Kevin Lane's spare to Hazard. 29 in the ball through three. Packer picks it up for 10. 29 through three. In the first to three. Corey's high five, 190, high single, 195, high triple, 455, high five, 737. Out of the bogey lanes again, East Brookfield, Mass. Nice ball crossing over as the 5710. Two pieces of wood off to the left. Albedell on the bonus. Nine. 38 through three. Hacker trying to kick that wood over left to right, right to left. West coast, east coast, left to right. And won't count in the gutter, minus two. And wide left, this opportunity for Tim Hazer. Don't see Mr. Many of those. Hacker will be an eight box, eight box for Corey Packer. 37 through 4, good pinning. Hazer, a 10, 48 through 4. Team USA has the lead early on. That's we've had a 40 to 40. So that's a uh, 37, 10 different ball. We've got that now in good. You can watch right here on the monitor ball. Jeremy, two points for a win, one for five, two for one. Two points for a win, one for tie, two for total. Three strings. Justin Waters has the check mark plus the set, the uh, six ten. He's on a strike. And a spare also a start. Oh, what a try! Eight in the strike. Jason Gauthier Jr. looking for his first mark at nineteen through two. He's open with the head pin. Justin. 38 through 2. 10, 38 through 3. Gothia Jr. Good pinning at 10. That's 29 through 3. We're asking viewers out there, please subscribe free on YouTube to Candlefin Bowling Network. It's free on YouTube. Watch the great game of Candlefin Bowling. Semi Pro to Pro. That's Candlefin Bowling Network, free on YouTube. Justin Waters goes right, it's 5, 1, 2, 4, 6, 10 to the right, 1 piece of wood. Just 4 for Jason Jr. Jason, former Candlepins, New England Candlepins winner. Waters open there with a 2 and the 4. Lothia, a nice ball, he's up to 4 left, 9 to the right. Also going to outrun the bear, runner up, Millis, Massachusetts. Run by, run by Danny Finn. And enjoys bowling in the World Tournament all the time. Waters good pitting a 10. Perfect string so far, 58 to 4. 9 for Dothier. Good pitting also, but no marks, 38 to 4. Anchor ball is now. First of three strings, first of three matches today on Channel for Bowling Network. Danny Harris, a fireball, in lane 36. In the pocket, for strike, got it! 
And that's on a spare, so 40 plus. 30 plus two, 40 plus two through three. Jeff Walsh is working a strike, also a double. He has spare to start also. Ninth, and this should be a layup. You got it. Spare on strike, spare strike, spare. 40 through two, 50 to ball through three. Wow. Harris, five for two. That's the one, six, and ten. Working on a strike. Walsh crossing over. Tough lead. Four holes up left side. The six to the right. Fifty-six to three. Harris there. Incredible. Fifty to three. Sixty to ball through four. On fire here in Haverhill. Walsh, good try. Try to get that six over to the. To four. Trying to go for one here. He does for nine. What a start for the Akers. Jeff Walsh, 67 through four. Danny Harris, 60 to ball through four. What an action here, Bob. Well, I think, I think we're caught up. We have a 25-10 lead now for Team USA in blue, in the dark blue. High scoring affair too, Bob. Throwing the watch. We're back to the top of the order. Sean Sears. He's four marks left to start the match. On a strike. Plus, oh, big double strike. Wow. What do we have for breakfast today? 76 through 4, 86. Plus bonus balls. Double strike. Leading off. Mark Craig looking for his first mark. That's a banana split. For 4 7 left. The 6 10 the right. Pinning very well. Try to kick it over. Good try. What a start for Sean Sears. Mark at 9, 47 half. Sean Sears enjoys axe throw, axe throwing. This axe place next door here. He also appeared in Jimmy Kimmel Live twice for a rock, paper, scissors contest. You can watch it on YouTube. Sean Sears. And he's cutting those pins down. Off to left, he's taking that time. Four. The layup's up there. Won that first double strike ball. 84. Mark Greg a chance here for a spare, the one, two, and the nine. Sears, second ball, nudge the head, Finley's up the diamond. Six and a second strike box. Piling up the points here early in the first. Gregory. Missed the head pin. Maybe singing the whole thing. John Sears. This is the perfect string of nine. What a start. One off five from six. At five marks in a row. Putting a double strike. Mark Gregory nine. Great pinning for the veteran pro. 56 through six. Good Stephen Ash. How are you doing, Stephen? You put you're born in the world for the first time, right? Yes, I am. The Barbarians? Yes, sir. Gonna be covering you later on today. Awesome. 16 years old, 108 average, right? Yes, sir. I'm all playing Belfast, Maine. Good luck. Thank you. All right, we'll see you later on today. Aaron Halvadel, the 3 5 and the 10. 45 is first four, and a spare six in the third. Jeremy Seal, head pin seven, two, four, seven, on a spare. Get two in a row, 53 and a block and four. Halvadel's open. Seong missed the third chance for a spare. Halbadell nine. 54 half. Jeremy. Always on his own pin most of the time at 10. 63 half. 
Check out again their approach podcast, the approach it's called, on all these favorite digital platforms with Danny Finn. Do a great job. The approach podcast. Now Bedell, two, eight, and the five to the right. The Jeremy Seal breaks up the seven. Clean shot the king and the five pin. Again, professional bowlers convert 72% of the time without wood on single pins. Stats by Calipin Bowling Network. Capitals open for the two and the five. See them right on it. Third spin, last four boxes. 73 above through six. Capitals, nice 10. 64 through six. Probably the executive producer on hand hit today, Bob. Thanks for doing all the technology work. I have no clue in this stuff. It's all right. It's all right. We, uh, we're surviving there. Aaron, Aaron just finished with a uh, keep it up on the score. Aaron had a 10. 64 through six. Tim Hayes are now exciting, the right. Really exciting start from Sean Sears. Too bad he didn't fill on that double. Uh, otherwise, he, he would be uh, he'd be up in that territory we like to talk about. Tim Hayes has spare nine in the third box. 48 before coming in has a fortune split. Corey Packer looking for his first mark. 37 to four here in the first of three from Haverhill, Massachusetts. Academy Lanes, up 125. He has a half whistle left, but the two and the eight. Can't stand that shot. Trying to go two and a four. Tim gets three. Three nine, half whistle right, and the six to the right. Back at the second ball, two full. Check mark right, plus the four seven left. Hayes are nine, 57 half. The Hayes man. Bowls at Canal Lanes in Southampton, Massachusetts, in Agawam Bowl in Agawam, Mass. Corey Packard, nice ball. I'll be, I'll be in Agawam for the uh, King of the Hill with Justin Fair and crew on January 15th, 1 o'clock. I'll be on Canelton Bowling Network. Corey Packard, 8, 45 half. It's good. The rule is you can substitute to the first five boxes, but if you're on a mark in the fifth, you can't come out. No substitution so far. Hazer has the force from right to one, three, six, ten. He's got about 36% of the time. The pro balls are wood. Back in for a strike. Almost. Has the four pin. Clean shot at that. Hayes for spam. Beautiful shot. Got it. 67 of all through six in the first to three. In Academy Lanes. In the home team, Academy Lanes, Corey Packard looking for a spare. Bounce that got it. A bouncy ball spare. He's on the board, 55 and a ball through six. Very classy guy, Corey Packard. Best set of balls now, Justin Waters on the left, 58 through four. Jason Gauthier Jr. Hitting well, no marks yet, 38 to 4. Boston over at the hay bale, pack of five, great piece of wood, two of them, seven left corner. Justin Waters goes right at the half west right, the three and the nine. Oh, what a shot, square! The five and the one on the board, 58 half, 48 half plus one. Waters, but God alone, if two pieces of wood collided, that would have gone, and the wobbling eight pin remains. Just watch his delivery, just a smooth clockwork delivery. Special golf teacher bought lessons. Justin Waters, one to go to. Very miss there, nine, 67 half. Works at Marlboro Country Club, so give him a call if you want lessons. Marlboro Country Club, Marlboro, Massachusetts. This is the finalist in the Atlantic Camp and Single Store Co Division. Won by Matt Susan. Watch that Camp Ball Network. Thrilling match. Jason Gothia Jr., seven in the spare. Chance for another one. The one, two, and the seven. Wood to help. 55 half. Waters goes left. Four horsemen from right. And the five behind the head pin. Gothia, it's got two in a row. 65 and a ball through six. Team USA is bringing it today. Look at the first two points of the match. 
What is, oh, what a try. Just an overall average, 122. Ten box, 77 through 6 in the first of three. Two more matches after this, Bob. It's been an exciting day, and we're just getting started. That's right, first of three strings here, and we're going to have nine. So we're covering nine strings with, uh, let's say, 30 bowlers today. Nine strings with 30 bowlers tomorrow. And uh, on the whole week. another two for, for uh, 10 on Jeff Walsh, 67 through 4. Danny Harris, a hot, a spread hot, a spare 8. Another chance for another one. 68 through 4. The 4 7 chance. Walsh, trying to go back door. Couldn't get the head to go. Harris, spare again. On fire. Double 10. A spare strike, spare, spare. 78 half plus 1. Jeff for 10. 77 half. Who wants some more, Bob? It's incredible. Look at these scores. 39 pay the lead. Uh, three, three hits to two. Academy has that. But they're, they're well past the midpoint now. This is like the World Series, the Super Bowl, and all at one. Walsh 5 1 split. Harris just two that time of the fill. 80 half. Chips high 10, 1293, high 20, 2394 out of Riverwalk Lanes, Asbury, Mass. I'm a Mark Ritchie. Good try by Harris. He's open. The 6 to the right, 4 7 left. Chip on for 21 years. It's an 8 box. 85 through 6. And Danny matches with an 8 himself. 88 through 6. Six boxes down, four to go. And the first of three strings and the first of three matches on Candlepin Bowling Network. Your place for all things Candlepin. Okay, the lead is 37 after a third time through the order, Paul. Uh, back to two marks apiece for the two teams. Okay. Back to the top of the order. Mark Gregory on the right. Really pitting well. Just looking for his first mark. 56 through 6. Sean, rock, paper, scissors, sears. 105 to 6. At 5 in a row to start. Putting a double. Return to earth with that 6 blocks with a 9. There's only one to shoot the strength. Regular chance hit a 1, 2, and a 5. Sean with 3, 6, 10, and a 7 left. Ways to run the ball. Wouldn't be surprised if he makes this shot. Mark missed the opportunity. So no substitutions allowed now. As we're in the seven box, we're allowed to sub to the first five boxes. Sean leads up a three seven and ten. And got a nine. Sixty five to seven. Sears, eight, one thirteen through seven. He set the table early for his team. Spear nine, spear seven. Double strike. Incredible bowling. Mark Gregory goes right, has the Calary. Mark's high single 202, high triple 505. See us crossing over nine. But it might leave a bunch up that time. Mark's high triple gets 505 for spare. Again, second time he's had a leave and almost got it. High five, impressive. 791. See us, another spare. 123 and a ball for eight. Gregory, good pitting continues. Now Mark, just five pins on the board left, 75 through eight. It's all Team USA here in the first of three. Two points for a win, one for a tie, two for total. Almost all of that, almost all of that on the backs of Sean Sears putting together a career game here, I, I believe. What, what is Sean's high single? I went over that earlier. Let me just pull my notes out here. 
He's now, he's now 43 over plus his ball. Can you see how mine is? His high single is 178. Okay, Haven't done that yet. He's in range for that. Couple marks. High triple 427. Jeremy C on the spare five. 78 through six. Aaron Halvadel is open 64 through six. The cleric of Seen Hall. Beautiful shot. Got it. 88 and the ball through seven. Halvadel's open. So Jeremy with back to back marks. He's got four marks. In the last five boxes. How about a good pinning at 10, 74 through 7. But Team USA has the early lead here. 31 is the lead. And three spares to two advantage, though, for them as well. Jeremy on the spare, in the pocket, crossing over. Got to get more. Center triangle plus the seven. Abadell drills nine. Jeremy 94 to seven in the first of three. This left. Five nine, seven left corner. Abadell, high piece of wood, tough place. Hard to get it either way. Jeremy at eight. One old two. Eight. Aaron, no luck there. Ten. Eighty-four through eight. Tim Hayes on the left of Team USA working on his first mark. Correction, second mark. Hit a spare eight, spare nine in the third. Corey Peck on a spare of his own on the right for Academy Lanes, the home boards. Here in Haverhill, Massachusetts. The World Tournament opening round. Of team competition, 11 matches before the playoffs start Friday night. All live here at Kenilton Bowling Network. Corey, 55 in the ball. Got his first spare here in the sixth. In the pocket, two full. He has check mark right, four seven left. 59 through six. Hazard, thin hit. Four spin left, the one, two, four, seven, the nine, ten to the right. He's got two pieces of wood to work with. High single 191, high triple 445. Back, he only got two. Hayes is high five, 683. Good ball, won't carry. 710, corner post. Tim's high 10, 1324, high 20, 2467. Both that won't count, that's an eight. Eight for both bowlers. Corey Packard, 67 through 7. Hayes, 79 to 7. Jim Hayes. Tim Bowen, since he was three years old, parents got involved in the league. He was eager to learn at three years old. He's won multiple state tournaments as a junior. Pack a nice ball, eight. That looked good. It was 9 and 10. High piece of wood. Hayes at Rills 9, 8 rather, he's got the same lead. How can you see that? Matching 9, 10 leaves. He's got more favorable wood, I think. Now I can look for a second spare. Wow, what a shot! 77 the ball through 8. Hayes couldn't connect. It's a 10. Was that a 9? 9, make it a 9. Waved it off in the gutter. 88 to 8. <laughs> 602 was the cut yesterday for the singles knockout. Jason Gothia was the last entry. He's on lane 33, 35 in the left. Justin Waters on lane 36 in the right. On the right, he gets 75. Jason on a spare, only four. We've seen three of these so far. The hey, Bill, and the seven. 65 from six. Waters just missed that pin. Gothier, two full. Three, six, ten right, seven left. Oh, 
Waters, nice pinning 10. 87 through 7. 7 for Jason Jr. 76 through 7. Team USA has the lead still. Ken Lee's fighting back though. Only down 27. Justin Waters crossing over, thin hit. Almost had a full picket fence. 10 went to the 7 8 9. Pippin is a little dance on Goth here. He's got a little inverted horseman. 1 2 4 7. Let's give it about 36% of the time. Based on Kemp pulling out with stacks. Waters, nice bid. Almost. Got the off the wall. Can't get the four to go. <coughs> Justin High single, 181. Gets a 10, as does Jason Gothia Jr. JV, 86 through 8. Justin Waters, 97 through 8. Anchor Bull is here. First string. Check out the beautiful restaurant, pub here. Full bar, pub food, great food, great people. Pub 125, 725 South Main Street, the Bradford section of Haverhill, Mass. Come on down, watch the World Tournament. You're looking for a treat. Best bowls in the world are here this week, all through Saturday. Kenneth Moore never all the way through up to the semifinals. The finals will be hosted by Alley Chat, Frank Looper and crew. Kyle Bruce, Brendan O'Dowd, Corey Lisi, and Jordan Britt. Harris can try! Let go! Yes! What a shot from Square! Wow! <laughs> Jeff Walsh on the head pin won't go. Harris, 98 in the ball through 7. Gets 80 half. Walsh, 9. 94 through 7. Just won the Riverwalk New Year's Day tournament. Five out of seven tournament, two years in a row. New Year's Day Bonanza at Mark Ricky's house, Riverwalk Lanes, East Bray Mass. Harris, Spread Eagle plus to nine. On the spear, just three. 101 from seven. Second ball, try to go three to four. Up to three. Jeff has the two in the middle, seven left, and the six to the right. Use some of that wood to kick it over. On the object pin, just missed. So close. Feel a breeze back here in that one. Harris, nice pinning, nine. 110 through eight. Walsh nine. 103 through eight. Two bucks to go on the first of three strings. Paul Grant, Bob Lee with you live on Canelton Bowling Network. Okay, the lead's down to 23. Each team working on a spare. The first one's going to come from Sean Sears at 123 and a ball through eight. He's 43 over, trying to get to the, into the 150s here and uh, you know, 160s, 170s if he, if he throws a couple marks. 178's his high single. That would be something. Getting really off to a tough start this season, but on fire to stop the first here. Sears. Close left, only three. 126 through H. Mark Gregory. Still looking for Mark. It's been awesome pinning. 75 through 8. Close left, only three. Teams have between seven and ten bowlers. Subbing out during the week for the rest. Good second ball. Almost. So close for Sears. High triples 427, high five 637. Gregory, good ball. Again, nothing doing. He's got the 5 7. Sears, nice piece of wood there. Got to go. 10. 130, 69. Field goal for an 8. 83 through 9. So see as we don't get his high triple off. It's high single now, obviously. But he's got a fine string. Perfect shot. Spread eagle plus the nine. 
Mark Gregory, nice ball. Strike! He's on the board for his first knock in the tank. 93 plus 2. Deep side relief. He's been throwing a really good ball. Sears could try. The four to the left, the three, six, ten to the right. Let's go for the short three here. Best he can do is a 146. Nothing wrong with that. Sears. Three. Nine blocks. 145. Amazing first string. For the current 100 average bowler. Good for him. Mark Gregory on Channel 5, 30 appearances. Massachusetts State Champion five times. Multiple title. Talk about more later on. On the strike, seven. Five to the right, four, seven left, two pieces of wood. So they'll make the 100 mark after all. Not the string you want, but he's, again, pretty good on his pinning. That's all you can do in that situation. And he gets 9. 102, first string. Strong finish. Eight boxes to go on the first of three strings, first of three matches on Kenilton Bowling Network. So all your friends have come about the great game of Kenilton Bowling this holiday season, all season long. Kenilton gift cards. It's a great stocking stuffer, Yankee Swamp gift, anniversary, birthdays, a whole lot more. Kenilton gift cards. Support your local bowling centers and get your friends and family the great game of Kenilton Bowling. Kenilton gift cards. The gift that keeps on giving. Aaron Halfordell, 84 through 8, half Worcester. And Jeremy matches it. It's 102 through 8. Jeremy from Marlboro, Massachusetts. Halfordell, good try. Up with a 9. Jeremy's high single, 196, high triple, 462. He almost got it also. He has a 690 for a high five twice. High 10 to 13, 20. On a Ryan Filmy Music, Smillis, Mass. He worked there in Natick, Massachusetts also one time. Channel 4. 9 for Aaron, 93 through 9. Jeremy, 10, 112 through 9. Jeremy over 20 television appearances on Comcast Channel 50. New England Channel Pins also. 2021 Men's Cheetah Championship also. And then Rob Bish get a Corey Package, his teammate. 17 pin lead for Team USA. That's the closest Academy Lanes has been in a while. Tough 2 2 split. Oh, what a shot for Spinner! Wow! 103 to ball. See him on the Audrey pin, won't go. 1 spear for Corey Packard for Academy Lane. It's the only mark on the board. Jeremy at 9. 121. First string. And we'll add a mark here now. On the bonus, it's good. 9. Strong finish. 112. <laughs> That pushes Lee back up to 27. Minus the ball, though. Corey packing a spare. Six boxes to go. Two points for win, one for tie, two for total. And two points in the standing if they win. Tim Hazer on lane 36 in the blue. 88 through 8. Corey packing on a spare. 77 the ball. Hazer goes left. One, three, eight, and ten. Back end will be uh, our strike will be huge here. In the pocket, nine. I'm also strike. Couldn't quite get to the five. Big pins though. Eighty-six through eight. Page is open with a one and ten. Corey dominated the junior tournaments, multiple state titles as a junior. Spare! Back to back! Three in the last four. 96 to ball through nine. Hazer nine. 97 to nine. Here comes Academy Lanes down the stretch. 
17 now. And Packard cut the single digits. A strike will give a virtual tie. No other marks on the board. Five boxes to go. Hayes it. Crossing over. Nine. Ten. Strike. 107 plus two. Clutch shot. Packard trying to answer his own. A strike to keep Hayes. What's left though? Thin hit, only four. He's mad at himself. 109. Four of the marks for Academy Lanes. Packard. Oh, what a try! Thought that looked good. He's done with a 4 7 10 split. Three pieces of wood. Packard, nine. 109 first string. Team USA has the lead, and Tim Hayes is going to add to it with a strike here. The lead is 14, Bob? 14 plus a strike, Bill. Push it back up in the 20s again. Crossing over, seven in the first ball. Three, five in the 10. First pair and strike was good off the wall, not quite. Nine in the strike, though. 116. What a finish, Tim Hazer. <coughs> Four blocks to go after them. And for Academy Lanes, Justin Wild will get, need to get to work here at a 67 half, but he's had 310 since then. Need a couple of marks to help out. The lead is 23 for Team USA. JB, Jody Sigarthia Jr., 137. The lead is 6 8, Justin Waters, 97 through 8. No marks on the board either side. Tough lead, the 1, 2, 7, the right triangle, the 6, 9, and 10. Sigarthia goes right, these are the 1 and 7. Waters, good offer. Oh, pretty good. Wood's coming back, but falling into the pit. JB at 9. 95 through 9. Waters, 9 to that. 106 through 9. The lead remains 23. Three blocks to go. They need to mark out. Money to double. JB sails right three. Waters drills the pocket eight. Good chance. The two to the left, the five to the right. JB for a spare. Chopped up one. Has a bundle of six. Waters needs to cash in here. Does his part. 107 in the ball. Correction 116 in the ball. Nice out. JB a nine. Big pins. 104 first string. He was 22. Justin Waters cut it down here. Only five. Good hit, hit, been hit, but only five. 121 first string. And two blocks to go. No marks on the board. Lead is 17 for Team USA. They've led pretty much all the way through. I mean, if, if Jeff Walsh doesn't make any marks and Danny Harris were to get two big marks and two big fills, it's possible. Or, or else we're going to double strikes. Look at this. Walsh gets eight. The three and the six. Harris, the one, three, six, ten, four horsemen. 
Walsh for a spare. Missed it. What's coming back? The ball's coming back, brother. Almost took it out. It would have been a dagger. Yaris is open. Now in double strike territory. And that might not be it. That'll be there. Walsh at 10. 113 through 9. Harris, ball grand special, missed the second, make the third. Ten box, 120 through nine. Final box of the first to three. First to three matches. 17 pin lead. Double strike is a must. For Danny Harris on the left. Walsh, got a break the one, two, and the wobbling four goals. One and two, and that'll do it. Team USA takes the first two points. Walsh at the headpin. Harris, wide right. A brilliant start at 80 half, but has pinned well. They fall short. Jeff Walsh at 10, 123, first string. Danny Harris at 9, 129, first string. Team USA has the first two points in this match. Two more strings to go. Our first of three matches today, all separate broadcast on Camel and Bowling Network. The final score in the first string, Team USA 600, Academy Lanes 582. Only fitting on election day, Team USA wins the first two points. 18 pin lead. Two points for a win, one for tie, two for total. Paul Grant Wildly with you live from Academy Lanes and Pub 125, Cable hey, Mass. Hey Paul, why don't you leave the microphone with me and see if there are any changes in the uh, lineups for the second game. Oh, there he is. Jeff Bogia is going okay, to, Jeff is going to go with a JB. Yep. Yep. Jason got So Nick Norcross is going for Mark Gregory now to start the second string. You guys need anything to drink, Raven? Uh, I'll have it here. I'll go grab you one. Dutch 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 Dutch
Ten bucks. One for ten here. Eight pin left up. We're way back here. I'm high up what side, you could say, like Johnny Most. Nine bucks. Officially now. Aaron had a 112 in the first string. Jeremy see him a 121 in the first string. He's on the right on lane 36, working on a strike. Goes left, only four. Alvidel goes right. He's the bundle of six. Nice ball. What a shot for Spare. Well fired up. That's on strike. 23 1, 30 the ball through two. Alvidel's open. Aaron wide right for an eight, 17 through two. Academy Lane's on the move here, the early in the second. Nine and eight for Aaron. Strikes pair for Jeremy Seal. Tim Hazer on the left, Corey Pack on the right. Pack and drills the pocket, crossing over. The speedy split. <coughs> Hazer, 4 2 split. She missed the 5 and 8 in the middle, 7 left. Back <laughs> it. Try to hit that 5 from the outside, Mr. Wright. Hazer way off there. That's the 1 8 and the 6 10 to the right. Back in the nine, just out the second. A tough six for Hazer. Our first match of three matches today, 11 matches all week long before the playoffs. Start Friday night here. All start 9 a.m., 12 noon, and 3 p.m. Time approximate every day. Packet drills nine. Four pin left up. So, seven drop triangle, four, seven, eight for Hazel. Good chance for you with three pieces of wood, two in front. You like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Kennel from Bowling Network. It's free on YouTube. Kennel from Bowling Network. Please subscribe free today. Get your friends and family to sign up also. Matching stairs. Boy, 16 through 2, Tim. Boy, 19 through 2, Tim, 16 through 2. Boy, 109 in the first, and Hazard at a 117 in the first. Here's Justin Long to the right. Going for 121 first. Jeff Fujia filling in now. But Jason Lefty Jr. had a 104 in that first string. Waters for strike, cut it to go! Gia, goes for Riverwalk Lane to the Friday Night Pro League. Has the 1 3 spare chance. Two pinners without wood, go 51% of the time. Stats provided by Camp and Bowling Network. First spare, missed it. Oh, just five! Ball grand special missed the second, make the third for ten. Just got the second. Academy Lanes has the lead in the string, they lead the match. Lost by eighteen, they're up three and a half. Water sails right as the fourth from left to one, two, four, seven. Bugia, ugly lead. Six, ten right, the five in the middle, seven left. Waters 
two full. He's up a two four in the seven. Jeff, try to kick it over. Good try. Waters, nice 10. 20 through 2. Production 27 through 2 at a strike 7. 27 through 2. Gia 10. 20 through 2 now. Anchor ball, Jeff Walsh on the left for Team USA. Academy Lane representative, Danny Harris. Jeff 123 first, Kenny Harris 129 first. Right in the pocket, strike! The stop a second, a three! Walsh. Perfect shot, Spread Eagle. Spread Eagles convert just 1% of the time for Pro Bowls like Wood, and just 20% for 10 boxes. For a 10 box, all stats provided by Kenneth Mullen Network. About three left. <laughs> Pro bowling, a 10 up that spread eagle for Jeff Walsh. To start the second of three. The Academy now has the lead in the total by 10, Paul. No lead is safe in these matches. No lead is safe. Well, first game was a bit, you know, an 18 10 win, but they're up to 28 here. The early going. Danny Harris grabbed seven on his first ball. Right? Jeff Walsh has a cocked hat, as we, as we call it. The, uh, <coughs> the 3 7 and 10. Do you want to do some play by play, Bob? Uh, no, I get the score. <laughs> it's really challenging with the scoreboard. I, I okay, no problem. We're gonna need to find. Uh, no, I'll be okay. I got. I got this. Okay. Wait all year for this tournament. The world tournament here. ICC championship matches are underway. Qualifying rounds. Jeff Walsh, a ten in the nine, nineteen through two. Strike eight and a ten for Danny Harris, twenty-eight through two. Bob Lee in the school cam, executive producer here also. CEO as well, right, Bob? <laughs> yeah, with, of our, of our uh, pretend nascent company. <laughs> Doesn't have a tor corporation baby yet. Okay, back to live action. Sean Sears on fire, 145 in the first. Missed that time. We spoke too soon. Northcross filling in, spare. Spare 9, 10, spare. 39 of all for 3. 10 to Sears, 34 through 3. Kelly Millian's trying to make it two points apiece. Lost the first, 600 to 582. Have a good size lead here in the second, but that's not safe. Sears, only two. They have one lemon drop in that first string by Jeremy Seal. He asked Bullis in the fourth pin or the sixth pin in your first shot for donate optional donation to Candle Pins for Cancer. Candle Pins number four, cancer.com to donate if you'd like to help support all Candle Pins and their families suffering chemo, radiation treatment. You get a check for $500 to cover expenses. Please help support this great cause. Candle Pins number four, cancer.com. North Cross 6 in the spare, 30 to 45 to 3. Sears are 10, back to back 10s, 44 to 4. North Cross 10, 55 to 4. Great start. Lead is 25 in the game. 25 in the match, and uh, therefore 43 in the, in the game. Academy coming on strong. Uh, great substitution there with Nick Northcross. The best bowls in the world are here all week long at Academy Lanes Pub 125. Come on down and watch it. Come on down and get your wild shirt too. Help support Channel Pits for Cancer. Thick quality high gilded brand t-shirts. Pretty sure. 
Each shirt sold ten dollars goes to campus again. We sold eleven shirts yesterday alone. Get your wow on here at Kelly Lane's Pub 125. You check out the new restaurant bar. Beautiful place. What a shot spare! The Habitat, beautiful! Twenty-seven, uh, twenty-seven above the three. Jeremy, you see my strike now. It's three six, thirty-six and two, and ends up with a nine. Forty-five to three. Marks are piling up, bud. Get a nine here, so forty-five. Two marks apiece. Aaron the spare eight, one in the seven. Should be a chance here. Three six ten. Three pins convert fifty-one percent of the time. Good pro bowls are what stats by Kenneth Bowling Network. Oh, Al oh, couldn't get the go. Wood flew over the seven. We're knocking down for a landing. Sure missed it. He wants that one back. Alpadal 10. 45-4. See on Paul Grant special again. Missed the second, make the third. Mad at himself. 55-4. Tim Hazer, the maze man. 16 of all through two here on the right. Corey Pack on the left on a spare, 19 of all through two. Second string of three. First of three separate matches today, all live on Candlepin Bowling Network. Your place for all things Candlepin. Candlepin Bowling Network. Crossing over the head pin. Tough lead, six. 3-9 on the right side, in the middle, 7-10 corner post. 22-2, Packard with a 1-3-6-8, 6 on his throw also, 25-2. Tim only got one, that's a 3-7-10. Jeff, 40 years old, Drake and Mass, originally Methuen Mass. Packard leads up the 1-3-6. Chef's overall average 113 career high for the year 121. Off the red hot start in the Friday Night Pro League for Riverwalk Lanes, Queensbury, Mass. He gets an 8, 30 through 3. And Crutch, we're talking about Tim Hayes right now. Jeff, what's your up next? He's got the Friday Night Pro League for Riverwalk. Corey Packard, 9, 34 through 3. Hazard, 8, box 30 through 3. And a spread eagle plus the 9. Just a bullseye shot, nothing to show for it. Packard in the pocket. Interesting lead. He's got the two, the nine, the ten. He's got three pieces of wood to work with. He's just missed that two pin right here. Tell him. Tell him. No, tell him. Okay. All right, back to our live action here. Back at a 10, 44 through 4. Hazer, 9, 39. Well, now here's Jeff with you. With a 219 overall high single, high triple, 478. High five, 714. High 10, 1292. He's from Drake and Mass now, originally from the Thurman Mass. With an average of 113 high career per year, 121, 40 years old. Nice ball, eight, big at nine. That's a big break. Two pieces of wood in front of the six pin. Plus the water, it's plus right. Four spin plus the five pin behind the head pin. 27 is first two. You have 20 through two. Jeff, 2.7 pound Paramount bowling balls. Spare. 30 to ball through three. 
water is too full. We took a two four seven. Kiss parents got involved while bowling was young. He bowled 28 years. He made the tournament of champions on WNDS Stars and Strikes. You'll see Bob Warren the other week too. Some of the cat went to cancer calendars. Each calendar sold four dollars to kill him to cancer. Ten for waters, thirty-seven for three. We'll bring Mike Warren on here when we uh, see him this week also. Jeff Bougia bowling Tom Ol against Tom Olster on Stars and Strikes. Not an easy matchup there. He's got the banana split, the 4 7 left, the 6 10 right. Waters, strike! Second strike of the string. 47 plus 2 through 4. What a shot, spare! 4 7, 6 10, wow! 46 in the ball through four. Back to back pairs. Anchor balls now. Jeff Walsh in the right, 19 through two. Kenny Harris in the left, 29 through two. The match rate's 18 for Academy Lanes. They lost the first by 18. 36 pin swing. Walsh, half west to left, the two and the eight. Harris in the pocket, full full. He's got a 2 2 split. He has the 3 6 right. The four seven left. The best bowls in the world on tap all week long here at Academy Lanes in April Mass. Walsh, come on, fire it up. Just a 20% chance to get it, and he got it. Harris could try this to the four seven. Walsh, 29 of all through three. Harris, wide right for an eight. 30. Six to three in the second of three in this first of three matches today on Kenilfin Bowling Network. Walsh on the bonus seven, five right, four seven left, thirty six to three. Head for the Harris. Oh, got a break. With a two four and a wobbling seven, wood to help. Jeff looks up the Craig Holbrook, Mark Ritchie, Brian Fuller, Senior, and Tom Holster. Another spare, back to back. 46 to ball before. Harris used the wood nicely. He's got a spare. Second mark of the street, 46 to ball before. Four down, six to go here in the second of three. Paul Grant, Bob Lee with you live on Kenilfin Bowling Network. Go home for all things Kenilfin Bowling. Kenilfin Bowling Network. We're back to the top of the order for our fifth and sixth boxes here in a second. Nick Norcross, 55 through four. Sean Sears, the left, 44 through four. Yeah, was a little, we had a little score correction on Danny Harris. I had him down for a strike. Uh, his strike was in the first, but it wasn't in the second. So uh, we're now down to a nine-pin lead um, due to that that correction of the great bowling from uh, Jeff Ball a moment ago. Norcross drops nine. Team pin left up. Sean Sears, three that time. Brilliant so far today. No cross. Another spare. 65 half plus one. His third mark of the string. Bills of nine and six so far. Sean has a spare six in the first box. Open since then. He has a triangle right, the 6, 9, 10. One piece of wood, seven left corner. Sean tough seven that time, 51 half. At a 145 in the first. Nick Northcross, ball for the first time, starting the second string. The self bar on the bonus. Half Wister, ouch. Two in the fill. 67 half. What she's put the Sears. No cross. Trying to make something out of this. Jeff Wall just made this recently. He has the war discount, the 5 and 10. Sears, only two. 
One, two, four, and eight behind the shoot bench. No cross, nine. 76 through six in the second of three from Haverhill, Mass. Sears, nine. 60 through six. You get a big game like that, Bob, and you come back to Earth in the second game. Happens a lot in bowling. Hard to maintain that intensity. Well, yeah, I'll have to do a study on that before I comment on whether that happens <laughs> more regularly or if you just notice it more. I, I, I probably just notice it more. Here's Jeremy Seaholm. Perfect shot. Only got four, though. 55 is first four. To strike spare six to start. Aaron Halvadel. 45 from four, and a spare eight in the third. Seven leaves up two, four, and nine. Alvadal leaves up the one eight. See home, top seven. 62 half. Aaron Halvadel, 10, 55 half. Two spears apiece for each side. Both balls open here. Six blocks, second swing. Jeremy left, got a break. Decent wood, the 1 5 in the center, the 3 to the right, the 8 in the back left. Albert Al drills the block, but it's thin hit, but look at this. Wow. Take a picture of that one, folks. Still wouldn't help though. See how nice shot spare. 72 to ball through six. Albedal, oh, what a try. First of three matches today. First of three matches today on Kenilton Bowling Network. That won't count us nine. 64 through six for Aaron Halvadel. Lori Packard, a duck pin bowler in his own. Now folks at Kenilton Bowling all the time. 44 through four, he's on the right. Tim Hazen, 39 through four, to spare six in the first. Match leads 12 for Academy Lanes. Up 30 in the string. Team USA won the first. 600 to 582. Two on split the backer. Kayser, great wood. The two to the left, the five to the right. Boy, trying to go east coast to west coast. 610. Two pieces of wood into that seven. Just missed left. Kayser, spare. 49 half plus one, second spare swing. Okay, nice out for a nine, maybe a ten. Seven holds up, will be a nine. 53 half. Three matches today, three matches tomorrow, three Thursday, three Friday. We are Friday, including the first round of the playoffs. The quarterfinals Saturday morning and semifinals Saturday afternoon. Ali Chow bringing the finals exclusively on their Ali Chat now. Back in the pocket, going over the left. Nine holes up. Six for right. Hazer with the banana split, the four seven left, the six ten on the right. 11 qualifying rounds. Matches, I should say. Three string matches. So. Every morning, 9 a.m., 12 noon, and 3 p.m., time of watch. Boy, missed the right. Here's a good try. That's all you can do. Back at a 10. 63 through 6 at a 109 in the first. Hazard the 4 7 going for a 10. 
He's got it. Not bad for a 2 2 split, a 10 box. That's that spare six. 55 half, now 65 through six. Justin Waters on the right, working a strike. Second strike of the string. 47 plus two. Jeff Bougie on a spare for Team USA on the left. 46 in the ball. Waters, the double. Bang! Double strike, wow! Gia just four, that's fair. 50 through four. Jeff at seven, one ball to go. That's the one, four, seven. Choice Fantasy Sports. When he's not doing Caleb Bowling. Eight box that time. 58 half. Jeff again, a very impressive high single of 219, high triple 478, high 5714. 40 years old. Bart is going for a triple strike. Almost. The five to the left, the nine to the right, 28 in that first strike box. Gia for strike. Oh, nine and a quarter. Wood held up to the right of the six pin. Tough piece of wood for Waters trying to cap it for a spare double strike. Looks good. Oh. 19 at second strike ball. Gia. Oh, such a gentleman. A spare. 68 of all through six. Waters of 10. 65 through four. 84 through five. 94 through six. Waters World for Justin Waters. Anchor ball is Jeff Walsh on the left. 46 in the ball. Kenny Harris on the right. 46 in the ball. In the pocket. Eight. Seven, the wobbling eight, one piece of wood. 54 through four. Walsh, half was to right. Yikes. 48 through four. Harris, another one. Good try. Walsh has the one seven, the right is the six and ten. Harris missed left for nine. 63 half. Walsh, tough six. 54 half, including two spares. Battery Lanes has to lead the match by 39. We're up 57 in the strength. Harris. Throws the pocket, it has a 2 1 split. The 6 to the right, the 2 4 to the left. Walsh, only 3. Jeff Walsh enjoys video games doing a wrestling podcast. He does that with Mark Ritchie, Riverwalk Lanes. Harris will try, leads up the 6. Jeff has the bundle of 6. Keenan Harris turned 39 this Friday. 10. Veterans Day birthday. 10 box 73 through 6. Walsh is a check for a couple of tough boxes there. A 6. 60 through 6 with two marks. The half was to fill hurt. And four boxes to go on the second of three strings. Paul Grant Bob with you live on Camelot and Bowling Network. Two more matches after this today. First of many matches this week, Bob. Of course, we're in the second of, two, of three strings here. Uh, the way we've got the scoreboard for those at home is we've got the total score running uh, running in the yellow highlighter. The game score you can just see. Remember that one of the matches are worth uh, 
two points apiece for each game. If they tie, they each take one, one and two for the total. So the total is just in there at all times for you to receive full reference. Sean Sears and Nick Norcross now up. Nick Norcross is fair. 86 and above through 7. Sean Sears a 9, 69 through 7. Back to earth here in the second after 145 thrilling first string. He was amazing, Bob. That would be good for his confidence. 69. Very good for Sears in the pocket, thin hit. Breaks up the hay bale. Probably better off standing. No cross on the spare. Bounces right. About six. One, two, four, seven. A four horseman. 92 through seven. Good try there. Won't go. Five, eight, and ten. The Sears. No cross. Good effort. Won't go. Breaks up the seven. Sears, nice out for nine. 78 through 8. Nick Norcross matches a 9. 101 through 8. Congratulations to Chris Merrill winning the singles knockout yesterday, winning $2,500 and purchased a wow shirt after that. Yeah, um, that's one that's going to go on his, uh, his career uh, after two straight Easter classics. Uh, Merrill has established himself as maybe one of the. Maybe the, maybe the, the Top five bowler, no doubt. Best Arguably the best. best Arguably the best. Best in me, for right sure. Now. Did you win the Half 20 series? Did you win the singles like that? Sort of like Josh Daly's Triple Crown when he announced what he'd done. Jeremy Seal left free in the spare. 75 through 6. Aaron Halpenhaus, 64 through 6. Open coming in here. Boys from right. Good try. Won't go. He looks so simple. He only converted 36% of the time. Based on Kenneth Bowl and Edward Stats. Without wood for pro bowlers. Seals open. Alvadal eight. Seventy two to seven. Jeremy eight. Eighty three through seven. Live coverage all week long through the semifinals. Ali Cho with Frank DeLuca, Al Bruce, Brendan O'Dowd, Jer uh, Corey Felici, and Jordan Britton possibly helping out. The finals in the alley chat here Saturday afternoon, sometime after 3 p.m. How about 8, the 1, and the 9? Jeremy, the hay bale, the pack of 5. Hay bales, they call them, they go up 31% of the time based on kind of blood network stats. That's for Pro Bowls that work. It's like a diamond plus the uh, corner pin, yeah? Whereas uh, Aaron's working with the head pin, trying to get that ball probably carried through. Nope. Just missed on the on the other. Oh, beautiful shot. Just a beautiful, beautiful ball he throws Jeremy C on spare. 93 in the ball through eight. Fourth mark of the string for Jeremy. Alpadal 10, 82 through 8. Tim Hazer on the right. 65 through 6. Corey Pack at 63 through 6. Hayes in the pocket, low thin. Got a break. Ten pin went down. Now it's the four seven. Spare chance. Corey Packer from Sutton, Massachusetts. One, three, eight, and ten. Two pieces of wood make it three pieces of wood. Hayes of spare. No. Back at Boston. Got to go. Playing bouncy ball. 73 to ball through seven. Hayes are nine. 74 through 7. It's all Academy Lanes here in the second. They lost the first by 18, but going on here in the second of three strengths. 
versus the three matches on Caleb Mullen Never all separate broadcasts. Hazen. Larry. 20% success rate for Pro Bowl's uh, wood net shot. Stats by Caleb Mullen Never. Back in the square. Seven. 100 to eight. As the two fell left, the six to the right. Nice ball, got it, spare. 84 and a ball through eight. Third spare of the string for Tim Hazer. The Hayes man. Boy, good try. Back in the 10. 90 through 8, the second of three. McAdemy Lanes, Haverhill, Massachusetts. Check out the brand new Pub 125, 725 South Union Street on Route 125 in the Bradford section of Haverhill. Full bar, beautiful facility, pub style food, great chicken tenders, great pizza, pretzels, pool table. 44 Lanes, the biggest house in the world here at Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Massachusetts, Pub 125. Check it out, you won't be disappointed. Ted and Josh Cabrera run the place with a great job. <laughs> On the field, Bugia gets nine. Yeah. 77 through six. Justin Waters, 94 through six. Open. Back to back. 87 ball through seven for Jeff. Waters open. Just nice out for nine, 103 through seven. Academy Lane's dominating here in the second. Jeff goes left. That's the hay bale. Five in the field, 92 through seven. Waters for strike, almost. That was the third strike of the string. Fourth strike of the string, a double strike earlier. Strike of the first, double strike in the fourth and fifth. And 84 half. Gia, thin hit, he's up to six and ten. Waters, spare. One thirsty in the ball, three eight, and a second of three. Ujia, 10, 102 through 8. Jeff Walsh, the Team USA on the right, just 60 through 6. 73 for Danny Harris for 6. Mark situation is two spares to one for Academy Lanes. We have 64 in the string of 46 in the match. Walsh, one, two, and the nine. Woo! And he has the three and the ten. Walsh for stare, missed it left. Harris, can't go. Jeff for the nine, 69 through seven. At a 123 in the first, getting a 129 in the first, it's a 9, 82 through 7. The letdown string for both bowlers. Both outstanding bowlers. Jeff on lane 36 here at Academy Lanes. Half Worcester again, he's had a lot of those today. Can't believe it. Trying to settle down. Harris checks it in. As the 8 and 10. He's got two pieces of wood to work with. Walsh, nice second ball almost. Jeannie averaged 120. Season high average just 126. High single 189. Nice shot, spare. It's a high triple of 455. High five of 735. High 10 of 1410. Walsh a 9, 78 through 8. So Danny Harris, 92 in a ball through eight. Two blocks to go in the second of three strings. Now, first of three broadcasts today 
on Caleb Football Network. An update from Bob Lee. All right, game, game score, as you can see on your screen, 489 to 424. Big, big comeback for Academy after losing the first game by 18. They also lead by 47 in the total. Nick Norcross, a big part of that. The sub, uh, down bowling from the left-hand side on lane 36. Crosses over. Not a bad not a bad result at all. One, two, and eight. Now, Paul do some play-by-play. I will see if I can strength. keep up with the uh, scoreboard and do the play-by-play -play at the same time. Corey Packard. I'm sorry. Sean Sears throws one in the ocean left. Norcross. Little left of his object. His head pin. Here's Sears. Looking for some of that magic from the first string when he had a 145. That was a 10. Norcross 111 through 9. Sears takes eight. He's at 86. Welcome if you just joined us on YouTube. Cannabis Bowling Network, I'm Bob Lee. A little play by play here. We've got a good battle between Academy, Team Academy, and Team USA, both of uh, Massachusetts. Nick Norcross and Sean Sears, your bowlers in front of you. Norcross. Batted out the left side, has four horsemen right. Sears has a good look at his first mark since the first box. Hey! A spare, the horsemen fall. Norcross at 121 on the ball. Sears will be open. He did his damage in the first game. And that's going to be a 95. So scores of 145 and 95 for Sears. 240. And add those in. Norcross had a nice ball. Little bit on the head pin. Rewarded with just five, though. 126. A fine, fine game in a substitute role. We're in the first match of 11. The, the, the leagues here are, are divided up into two. There are 12 teams in each division, I believe. And they all play each other once, 11, 11 times. As you now look at Jeremy Seaholm. Pulling from the right-hand side with that little reverse ball. That's the castle leave. Seven on the fill, though. 100 on the day. Aaron, Aaron Halbedell has a look at the 1, 2, 9, and 10 in the back. Seaholm tries it. That wood rarely treats on that. And Halbedell connects on his four. That's a Puts him at 92 through 9 on the ball. See him will take nine. He's at 109 through nine. Lead is now in the 80s. Academy is going to make, make good on that uh, comeback. We're going to have a third one coming up, though, and Tony's still in play. Halbadel picks up. Five there. Takes a little nibble out of that lead. Still 530 to 456, though, in the second game. First game went. Oh boy, that wood came high for Halbadel. Just missing the seventh pin. Seaholm shooting for a 10 there. We'll get an 8 and a 118. Albino, good for the 10. That's a 107 finish. He has a spare in the ninth, fills a fill of five. Albino at uh, 219 after two. He started with a 112. Seal for his part had a 121 and a 118. He's at 239 here. Jeremy's off. Teammate, I've seen I've seen them both together in the hour on the bear. Drops eight. Tim Hazard in the spare, rewarded with five for a off head pin shot. 
89. Packer looking at the wood out in front of the five, trying to sweep it over. He does! Fair on the World War Special. One hundred and a ball. Beautiful bit at the ten there. Hazer, he'll take nine. He's at ninety-eight. Lead now seventy. 69. And nine and nine. Eight pin was the last to fall. It shook, went back and forth, teetered and tottered. Corey Packer with a strike on spare. He's at 110 through 9, 120 and two balls. With an 11th rack coming up. Scribble, that'll be a nine. A nine for Hazer and a 107 complete. Matching Aaron Halvadel. Packard. Packard with two on his first ball. And the bonus goes back on the full full Worcester side, but clears out the left side. So that'll be a six and a 126 for Packard. He had a 109 in the first game, 235 so far on the day. Team USA controlled the first thing. It's all Academy Lanes here in the second. Yep. So they will be a 2-2 tie, and the lead, though, is swung Academy's way. They're they're winning big here. They um, Just an 18-pin deficit. They, they managed 582 pins in the first game. They lost to uh, Team USA 600. It's Justin Waters on the fill with a four there, 117 for him, and a strike. How about that? Talking about uh, keeping that total in place, a strike for Vijaya. Waters is open. This for a 10. That'll be a 9. 126 for the ACST Southern Conference standout. He was our uh, conference champion last year. Virginia now in the strike. Not showing on your graphic. Austin. He's at 112 through 9. Going for the double! No. That, that is 6 7. Brutal. Great bid. No connection for Waters. He'll be open in the 10th. Jeff, still in the bonus. Looking at two. Has a little bit of wood to play with. It's not, not that far. There it is! They're on strike, and he will be seeing an 11th rack. He's at 122 through 9. And 132 on that spare. And Waters, with a 10, has a 136. All right, six more, and a 138 for Bajia, who subbed in for uh, J Jason Gothier Jr. 
Nice job for the subs today. Uh, Nick Norcross with his 126 subbing for Academy. Vijaya 138 in the sub role. Team USA. Anchor bowlers now. Jamie Harris. Still has the head pin 9 and 10. Walsh. That was a check mark. Hey, how about that pickup? Harris, who was in the spare, he had seven on the fill. Now 109 and a ball. And Walsh joins him in the spare club. In the ninth, 88 for him. What's the ball coming up? Not a straight. Harris it is still a little action. That's a five fill in the ninth. And seven for Walsh. Oh, tough one, tough one. Walsh managed three three spares. His fills have been a little low. So uh, his score is going to be in the 1-0s. A 124 for Danny Harris, that 10. Let's go with a score of 129 in the first. Jeff Walsh finishes with a 105. Three spare effort. That's the end of the first half. Paul, I'm going to give it back to you while I work on my scoreboard. All right, so the final score in that second string, Bob, 5 630 to 552. So the match, the match lead now is 60 for Academy Lanes. Now they each have two points. Right up. See if we have any substitutes. I don't know if they're on. So Sean Berryman, S H A U N Berryman, is going in for Sean Sears. Sean a 145 in that first string. Sean's and last name. Last name, sorry. Sean S H A U N Berryman. B E R R Y M A N. Alright, so you take the play by play. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on the scoreboard for a while. He bowls here at Academy Lanes, Haverhill Mass. Home cooking for him. Has a chance of 3-6 and missed it right. Nick Norcross bowling for the second string in a row. And a 126 last string. Just missed. Has the fourth pin left up. Paul Grant, Bob Lee with you live on Camelton Bowling Network. It's the first of 11 qualifying matches this week leading up to the drilling playoffs and finals held by Allen Chat. Kenneth Mullen had it all week long through the semifinals. We on the range to Alley Chat for the finals Saturday afternoon. 5 7 10 lead for Sean Berryman. That's that 9 bucks. 9 for North Cross and his first bucks. First of three matches today. Berryman open to 7 10. We get louder and louder as the week goes on here. NFL Stadium noise. North Cross chops out one. Price with four, and the defending champions lost their first string. We'll see him later on this week. Then we'll see him tomorrow. Eight for Merriman. Sean 17 through two. North Cross a 10. 19 through two. Daddy Millings with the early two pin lead. Two big points for total. Up to 62 right now in the match. Aaron Halvadel, starting his third, a lane 36 here in Angel Mass. Beautiful ball, nine. Six pin remains. Jeremy Seal, a center Worcester, ouch, the one of the five. That's the DCU center, right? Capital right on for a spare. Ten of the ball to start the third. See him with a 3 1 split. 2 4 7 and the 9 to the right. Jobs 3. 
Or nine. Alpha on the bonus. Goes left. Seven, the one, three, and the ten. See on the one, three, and the seven. Alpha Dow, 17 through one. Final swing of the match. He's open with the head pin. See on, only one. Ten for Aaron, twenty-seven for two. How are you? Here at nine for Jeremy Seal, eighteen for two. Chloe Packard on the left for Academy Lanes. On the right, Tim Hazer. Two separate matches after this. All week long, 9 a.m., 12 noon, 3 p.m., time approximate, all the way through Saturday. All on Channel from Old Network up to the semifinals. Stop by Academy Lanes, check out the new Pub 125, get your wild shirt, and help support Channel Friends for Cancer. Hayes with 7, that's the 4, 7, the 10. He's got three pieces of wood to work with. Corey Packard in the pocket. Right side triangle is 6, 9, 10 with 7. Three pieces of wood. Well, they're talking about how to how to send that piece over to the ten pin on the right. They're gonna I think he's gonna play the double wood. Try to tip. Try. He got it got it out to around where the nine was, he never made it all the way. Trying the right corner for Packard to six nine ten. They'll try to go helicopter over to the west coast. I think it's three pieces of wood in there. Three, maybe, yeah, it's hot. See my point. All but the seven. Hayes a nine. Slip there in that shot. <laughs> Back in count monster for ten. Early in the third string. Six pin lead. Team USA. One mark on the board. That was uh no need to have him watch this big to take total. He's got at least a split here. Won the first by 18, losing the second by 76. Second box, third string, Naval Mass. Hazer. That's the two four chance for a spare. Back in half wester left, the two and the eight. What's your least favorite shot, Bob? That's mine's the half wester. What's yours? It's hard, hard to rank. I mean, spread eagle stinks, but I think it's, it's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> the five and seven, the five seven ten is awful. <laughs> you, hit, you nailed the head pin and you get the five seven ten. It's like you got you got almost no chance to make it. Down you know, that one, you're hitting the, with the pocket. Packard open. That's the six, open nine, in ten. the second. That's a ten. Nineteen through two. Back a nice ten. Twenty through two. I mean, really, absolutely, the worst shot is when you is when you take out the one two, which has happened once or twice. Bob well, Lewis, some play by play. All right, number three bowlers now. De Jeff I'm trying to face myself this year, Bob. Yeah, good, good. Jeff Bajia, who came in in substitute role for Jason Gothier Jr. Threw a 138. Nice and strong, a strong finish. A couple marks. That is a Greek church for Justin Waters, who started the day nicely. 121, 136, 257. Bajia. Oh, six pins still stands. 
Waters also open in the first. Jay on your right. Takes 10 for the spare. And Waters joins him there. Nice job on the triangle. Yeah, the Greek church. The Greek church is a 10 pin term. When you have that triangle on one side and the uh, two in the corner on the left, or the right, swap places. It actually goes less often than the 7 10 in 10 pin, where they keep those stats. Not quite as difficult in candle pin because we get splash balls. Vijaya in the head pin, no reward. 4, 7, 9, and 10. Waters drops 9 down to the 10 pin. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Good chance. And his first mark. Only one mark on the board early going here. One way to think about it on these uh, team matches with two strings of peace, Vijaya. Grabs three of the four and a spare for what? One way to think about the team match is that each time they go through, with bowling two two boxes apiece, it's like each each one each time through is like a game. So Waters with the first spare at twenty and a ball through two first spare for Academy team. Jaya had a pair of tens for twenty. Here's Jeff Walsh, our anchor bowler. Nice, nice blow on the one-three pocket. Yeah. Danny Harris picks the one-two pocket, but both have splits. Walsh on the left side sends one halfway there, and oh, Harris. With the three and one, sends his messenger about 80% of the way across. Walsh takes 10. As does Harris. This would be a letdown score. Games earlier, uh, 600 to 582 in the first game for Team USA. Wearing the dark blue. And on uh, game two, 630 to 552, beating from Academy. Walsh. The half Worcester left side. That's the 2 8. Harris off on the right side, grabs six. Okay, big, big eight pin ball coming up with Walsh's third. Harris connects, though. Plays that one like a little uh, little half Worcester type spare for Harris. He's a good, sc good scores. That was on the head pin, but Walsh will take a six. All right, Harris spares in the late going from Waters and Harris. Really helped out there. They've been open through the first uh, eight, first six boxes anyway. And the score after one is 99-87, but two, two uh, bonus balls coming up for Academy. Virtually, virtually tied. Average fill for a pro bowler is six and a half pins. Nine drop for the lefty Norcross. Swings it across and makes the spare. He's 29 on the ball through three. Three marks now on the board for the academy team. Moving into the lead. Berryman for the 10 is wide left. And he'll take nine. 26 for him through three. Norcross now in the bonus. First ball in the fourth box. We're in the third string of the first match of the Worlds. Hey, Bob, we got a great match coming up next. Defending champs, Prices Wood Flooring. Tim Matero and company. Defending champions against the Barbarians. The Barbarians. Ah, a new, a new all from all play, Belfast, Maine. All, all right, there. excellent. For the spare, Norcross grabs the wing on the right. Of John Drake in that match also. 
Berryman will be open in the fourth. And that's a nine for Norcross, 43. Four. Make it, you like it. Yeah. Berryman takes eight. He's at 36. Norcross with a mark. Berryman open. Now you're going to see Jeremy Seahol. Aaron Albedell. Seaholm started with a pair of nines. Albedell with a spare seven and a ten. He's at 27. Seaholm coming in from the left side on the two pin. Albedell punches out three on the left side. Seaholm throwing a 35 mile an hour reverse. Is open. A good bid though. As is Halbadel. Ball comes back. See home for the ten, makes it. Home at 28 through three. Albedo with his nine is at 36. See, he pulls that one off. Off to the left. Gets eight to fall, though. Albedo in the ocean. Takes the triangle on the left hand side. Boom, but Seaholm with his first mark here in the third game. And Hobbitel falls in there. Pretty pick up 38. And the ball for Seaholm. 46 and a ball for Hobbitel. That was his second spare. And here comes Corey Packard, Tim Hayser. Packard, who started things off with 109, 126 for a 245. I don't believe I have his score correct. I do not. Yeah, that, that's fine. He, he had a pair of tens. He should be a 20 through two. My apologies. Anyway, he drops seven down to the uh, triangle in the mid, on the left side, fronted by the six pin. Albedell shoots one through, through the three pin. Still has six remaining. The four horsemen plus the six and nine in the back. Corey's wide right. Albedal trying for the perfect skim shot, but on the right. They'll still be looking at five pins. Good ten. As you heard, three tens in a row for Packard. And a chop. Tough, tough box. Six for Hacer. He's at 26. Both of these bowlers open. With Packard winning the pin war with three, three tens. Still never seen more than five in a row to start a game. Jack Klein did it at, at, at lead the other few, few months back. Tens in a row. Corey, who has three in a row, now looking at a check mark to try to break that screen of a spare. Albinal has the uh, same one that Danny Harris made a minute ago. He's the one, two, six, and seven. Packard takes aim at the three pin. He's got it and off the left wall. He makes that one. So 40 in a ball. He'll sit down. Albedo. 
makes 10 and is at 36. Sorry, that's not helping. That's Hacer, my apologies. Hacer, who had a 259 for the first two games. Now, Justin Waters, number four bowler for Academy. On a spare. Grab six. It's that cross shot. The half Worcester plus the seven ten. Jeff Bougea, who is open in the second. This is this is right. All right, still six for the through two balls for Waters. He connects on the half Worcester part of the cross. And that'll be an 8.34. A good nine. Out of some trouble for, for Jeff Fugia. Came in as a substitute, as I said earlier. Threw a 138 in his last game. Good left pocket shot for Waters, but a split, two and one. Ujaya punches through the left side. He's got four horses, a post, and a sleeper. So the sleeper is the nine pin that you probably can't see. Waters chooses to play at the wood, splashes it, but can't get anything to damage the right side. Jay for a spare. Four horsemen. Aims at the one at the one three pocket, but can't get the three to follow. Still has four. Eight on that one. For waters. Forty-two. Jay brings that ball back way over way over his head. And swings it in with that right to left motion. Takes nine there. 38. Interesting, interesting styles. You see a lot of different ways to throw the, the candle pin. Speaking of which, here's Danny Harris. Let's get the speed gun on him. I think he's going to be throwing around 40. Didn't get a reading. We got, we got a huge crowd here today. It's hard, it's hard, to, hard to get the straight shot at the ball. Anyhow, yeah, Harris, who's in the bonus, got 8 28. And a spare. So 38 and a ball through three. And a matching spare from Walsh at 26 and a ball through three. Harris now in the bonus. Finds the head pin. Everything but the five falls. Big nine fill though. 47. Walsh also in the bonus. Four on the head pin. Gets eight. Down to the four and seven. He's at 34. Through three. Spare is good. Ball still on the plate. Harris doing his damage and another spare. How about that? Four frames, four spares for the Anchor Bowlers here in the third string. Second time through the order. <laughs> and Harris now at 57 in the ball. Break that in a sec. Walsh. The scoreboard has him at 43 in the ball. I don't believe the scoreboard. That's the official tally. Anyway, it's 220 to 199. Three marks coming up for Academy. As our first bowler. There it is, Sean Berryman with his, his first smudge. 46. Five. Nick Norcross. 
at 43 through his first four. Connects for 10 there. That's a 53 half. Merriman needs a 9 to join him at 53. Okay. How about 8? So Nick Norcross takes the edge there. Actually, no, that is 54. Yeah, no, 42. 52. That should have been 43 in a. Should have been 44 in a ball through four. Now it's 52 through, through five. Jay open. Nord cross with uh, Home Depot in front of the nine pin. Can't connect. That'll be an eight and sixty on the official scoreboard. Nine. That is correct. Norcross makes good on his 10. He's at 63. On the third time through, Paul, why don't you take, take over? Uh, both bowlers, Aaron Halvidal and Jeremy Seaholm, are on spares. Halvidal on lane 36 right now. All right, thanks, Bob Lee. Halvidal, 7. Jeremy, 2. Jeremy 50, correction, 40 through 4. Halvadel's 53 through 4. Nice try. Almost got to the 7. Stop short. Jeremy hit the object pin thin. Metri Greek Church, Lee, right behind you, call it? That is. The water's just had one a few minutes ago, but Halvadel makes good on the 10, 63 through 5. Sean Berryman was just up 50 years old from Methuen Mass, 113 average, career high 124, a beast in his prime, high single 191, high triple 486, high five 705, his home lanes here, Academy Lanes, Haverhill Mass. Six for uh, He's at 46 and 5. Had a spare two before that. And a spare is a tough fill here. But he's open. Half with the left of two in the eight. How many do you need? The second ball, two full. A three church plus the nine. See home. Nice try. Got the two. We'll be next to one material in there. What is that? We'll come to you next to one material in there. I can't hear you. We'll come to you next to one single material by one thing at least. Yeah, no, he is going to. All right, so back to our action. 72. Got that nine box for Halberdell. See him a nine, 55 through six. Let's get an update from the score from Bob Lee in the mark situation. Well, uh, mark situation as you see it on your screen. Two for Academy, one for Team USA. Corey Packard is one of those. So he's in the bonus right here. On lane 35 on your left. Good pinning. Three tens now it's fair. Eight and that fell. Forty-eight and four. Tight match here in the third. A spare for the Hayes man, Tim Hazer. Forty-five half plus one. First eleven qualifying matches. Back at spare. Back to back. Three tens, two spares. Fifty-eight and a ball through five. In the third and final string of this first of three matches today. All on Candle from Bowling Network. Go home for all things Candle from Bowling. Candle from Bowling Network. Please subscribe free on YouTube to Candle Pin Bowling Network. Left the head pin. Three for Hayes. 48 half. Thank you. 
Packard crossing over eight to three and a ten. Hazen. Hazen, that's the one and the seven. What coming out of play? Packard eight that spare, 56 half. Three tens, two spare eights. Not bad. Red Academy now leading by 22 in this game at the midpoint. Trying to take six Packard, of eight points. Yeah, Packard looking for another spare. He is oh. On the object pin, won't carry. Field goal to Hazer. 56 through 6 with an 8 box. Packard on the nose for a 10. 76 through 6. So Packard uh, has four, four tens and two spares. That's pro bowling. And two good fills, 80, 80, 80 yep. on each spare. And most fun, no pins left. Yep. Jeff Pajaya on lane 36. He is open in the fourth, 38 through four. Yes, the force from right, the one, three, six, ten. Yes, Justin Waters, 42 through four, at a spare six in the second box. Close right, has a 4 2 split. Nice ball, but only the head pin went for Bugia. Waters, nice try! Wow, yeah, what a shot! Wow! 52 half plus one. Justin Waters from the Millis, Massachusetts. We've got Academy Lanes. I got, sorry, Millis, Mass. And Ryan Thorne Amusement. We're at Academy Lanes now. And Abel asked for the World Tournament. Bugia at 10, 48. Five. He comes from Natick. Yeah, Natick Mass. Yep. Right. Yep. Bulls and Ryan coming in, Millis. Bull there for quite a few years. One of the league there in the Friday Night Mix League with Rick Kamrowski and Dan Castle. Dennis Green was here today also. Thin hit. Look at this. The hay bell. Oh, out of the know, that, Paul, that one's the mini rack. That's like a miniature rack if you had, you know, with three in the back, two in the middle, and one in the front. Justin Watt at six in the spare, 58 half. That's the one, seven, nine, ten. Two pieces of wood. Good effort there to send a triangle for Bugia. Waters picks up for spare. Back to back. Third mark of the string. 68 in the ball through six here in the final string. Bugia, nice 10. 58 through six. Academy Lanes lost the first by 18, but they've been controlled since then. Both, both of the anchor bowlers on spares. Actually, the anchor bowlers in the third and fourth had four spares. Between them. <laughs> 30 pin good. lead in the string for Academy Lanes. Trying to take six of eight points. And two points in the, in the win column. The overall standings. Jeff breaking the spread eagle. On the spare, five, 48 to four. Danny Harris, 57 to 4, another great start. 2 2 split, won't go. That's right, I'm sorry, 6 in the field, 63 to 4. Walsh and 8, 56 half. Harris, tough 7 that time. 70 half. Dave's been on TV a few times, back to back Friday Night Pro League Championships on his resume. Walsh. 4 2 split. Harris, half west to right. <coughs> After this thing is over, we'll sign off and we'll get ready for our second broadcast defending champs, Prices with Flooring and against the Barbarians. A lot of balls from Maine. Yep, out of all play, fell pass. Oh, a sweeping spare for Harris. 
Beatty of all through six. It's 129 to 124 is first two. Walsh a nine. 65 through six. Academy Lanes looking to take the final two strings. Still, still, still uh, four boxes left for five bowlers. That's a you know, that 30 pin lead can easily go away, but it, that total lead is starting to really mount. 91 for all three strings. Norcross, a little pull on the pocket, leaves the eagle wing left. Here's Sean Berryman, falls suit from the right hand side. He's got the end though. That's the five, six, nine, and ten. Oh, cross spare. Nice shot. Second spare of the strength. Seventy-three of ball. Berryman's open. Sean using two point six pound Paramount bono balls. Enjoys anything sports related. He gets an eight. Correction 7, 77, correction 67 to 7. Nick no across 73 to ball. The lefty on lane 36 on the bonus. A quarter west of Yikes. One in the fill. Tough break. 74 to 7. Just three. Deshaun. But a spare 8 in the fifth. Deshaun from the third mass. Tough leave here. No cross on the nose for 10. 84 through 8. Fairman 6. 73 through 8. Going for the first time today here in the third string. 39 pin lead in the string for Academy Lanes. They're up two marks to none also. Both tough splits. Half west with Seaholm. These are five. Aaron Habedel, the three two split. Just missed the object pin. Jeremy, a tough six. 61 through seven. Aaron, high single, 174. Nine bucks. The Alphadel, 81 through seven here in the third. Aaron's finally got him involved. He's bowling for 20 years. His favorite bowling moment was making the 6 7 10 shot in the King of the Palace match. So Jeremy uh, slipped there and he called a foul on himself. He, he, he fell over the line. He's getting. He's taking a reset. Ball. All right, so I lose the box there, so it can still. The second ball will be coming up next. So get a, a, a strike from this. A, you could say a strike on spare. That would have been spare, but now he's with the Clary. Now, but that's open. Bit. Aaron enjoys disc golfing, collecting bowling history also. Follow Nick Norcross. Eight for Jeremy. Nine for Aaron. Aaron 81 through eight. Jeremy 69 through eight. A rare score for Jeremy like that. Tim Hayes on the left. From Team USA, Corey Pack on the right for Academy Lanes. 76 for Corey, 56 for Tim. Pack it on the nose. 2710. Would it possibly help? Hazer. Got a 2 2 split. A lot of these today. Fair. 
Nice ball. Got it. Beautiful shot. Hayes it wide right. The veteran ball is Corey Packard. 86 in the ball for seven. High single of 191, high triple 445, high five 683, seven for Hazer, just 63 through seven. Three marks on the board, all belong to Academy. Hazer enjoys cooking, playing baseball, basketball, and swimming. Chris Hobbies. Back at seven on the spare, 93 through seven. Hazer with the 147. Tim took um, one second. The word to settle now. He placed in his men's international championship first mixed world tournament, both in the same year. Back at back to back spares. One oh three and a ball through eight. Hayes it needs that mark, got it. 73 and a ball through eight to match. The advantage of Academy Lanes here on the third. The match lead pretty much in hand. We're looking good for four points minimum, trying to get six of eight. Corey Jeff Packard has four tens and four spears. Justin Watt is on a spare, lane 36, crossing over at 8, he's got the lowest discount to 5 and 10, 76 through 6. Jeff Puccia, 58 through 6, 4 1 split, let's get some wood to possibly help. Waters on the nose, won't go. Just missed the two pin. Waters cleans up for 10. 86 to 7. Nine for Bajia. Just 67 to 7. I mean, he's doing very well, but only three pins up in the board without a mark. Jeff Bajia. That's the best we can do. You're not rocking pretty much. Waters drills the pocket. Eight. I'm sorry, seven. Struck the view back here. Seven left to five, eight in the middle. Lucia trying to go from the back. One, two, seven, eight. Waters trying to sweep it over somehow. Won't go. Five and seven left. Bujic really can use this mark. Let's get some wood to possibly fill for the seven. Nice bears with two full. Two and seven left up. Waters. Full ball in there. Nine. Ninety-five to eight in the final swing of the match. Two more after this. All separate broadcast on Kenilton Bowling Network. Your home for all things Kenilton. Semi-pro to pro. Tempo with Gia, just 77 through 8. Waters, 95 through 8. Anchor ball is here. Danny Harris on the right. For Academy Lanes, 80 and a ball through 6. Jeff Walsh on the left for Team USA, 65 through 6 open. Danny from Quincy, Mass. Quincy, Mass, which is Dorchester, Mass. Birthday coming up this Friday. Walsh, 8, 9, 10, strike! Harris, the spare chance, he got it! The 2 4 7. Matching stairs. Actually, strike for Walsh, spare for Harris. Kenny, 97, the ball through 7. Jeff Walsh, 75 plus 2 through 7. Third mark of the string. Harris, half whisker out on the fill. 99 through 7, that 2 fill. Walsh, first left, only four, first ball of the strike. If you eight strikes, including four and one string, and the Caleb Fitzgerald gets a qualifying round, of course, the ball rattler recently. 
The average pro the only gets .9 strikes per spin. Stats by Kenneth Moore Network. Walsh, good ball, but won't carry. Unbelievable. Four, seven, nine, ten. Six in the strike. 81 through seven. Harris, an eight box. 107 through eight. Walsh is seven. 88 through eight. And that's for three marks. Two blocks to go. From Academy Leeds, Haber Mass, Paul Grant, Bob Lee with you, live on Kennel from Bowling Network. Let's get the update from Bob Lee here. Walsh ended up with a uh, seven, right? Yep. Top of the order, yeah, both open. So, through four, four times through the order, it's a uh, 458-401. Time to move now. If uh, Team USA wants to, wants to give you this matchup. 57 pins down. Two box goes to tall order to ask. Not improbable. But uh, they can Unimpossible. split with a, with a, with a big, yeah, they're going to have to take a mark, a mark for both. Five, five marks to none would do it. And no across a spare. He had to leave. Right. That was big. That was big. 90 point of ball through nine. Sean Berryman with a 982 through 9. Berryman, only 3. No cross on the spare, 7. The triangle, 2, 4, 5. 101 through 9, adding to the lead. Getting near insurmountable now for Team USA. Lost one the first, lost the second, down here in third, and Norcross and no spare. Three in the last four, four in the string. 111 the ball on the 10th. Perryman, seven, disappointing strength for him, 89. Very good bowler, just a bad string. Norcross off to the left, gets a break at seven. What a finish. 118. Eight bucks to go. Kevin Lynn's looking really good for six points on the eight. Lost by 18, one by 60. And they're up 75 in the string. Divine intervention for Team USA. We've got Tony Levesque with us here. Tony, how you doing? I'm doing great. Tony Bowles, the Atlantic Camp and Single Stores. One pin behind, second seed in the conference. Big match coming up with uh, Ty Clark on the no uh, November 19th. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. We'd do it earlier, but the kids' tournament's next week. And um, this is happening this week. I love coming down here and just watching this. This is amazing. That's the Atlantic Camp and Single Store. You can watch it on Facebook and on YouTube. Nice shot. See on the spare. 79 the ball. Having a tough string through nine. Nine for Halvadel, 99 through nine. Academy Lane is going to take six of eight points. The first of three matches today. Back to Tony Levesque. Uh, this, I'm just saying, like, I'm amazed. I go down here and like every single team has somebody with a 140 or above. And these guys are all just, they're all amazing bowlers. Look at our, uh, uh, Rock, Paper, Scissors, Sean Sears struggling. 94 to 100 average lately. Usually a 117 bowler. He threw a 145 in his first string. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's amazing that this brings out the best in you when you come down here and do this. See him a two in that Phil Half Whister. Just 81 through 8. Calvadell's open. See him leaves up 4. Go ahead, Tony. No, I'm just saying there's nothing. If you're just watching this on TV, you should come down here and watch this if you're close by. Because this is a, it's nothing to miss. Come on down, get your wow shirt at Academy Lanes. Check out the new Pub 125 while you're too. My whole family's got a wow shirt, so definitely come down and get one. Eight for Aaron Halpodell, 107 third string. Jeremy C on not the string he wanted. A six, just an 87. Funny game. Academy Lance going to take six of eight. Yeah, Jeremy, two spares, but an 87. You know, it fills up two and two. Well, when you take a song for the finish. Okay. We're bowling out the string here with a, uh, looks like about a 74 Actually, more. 76 pin lead for Academy, who dropped the first game 
600 to 582. Uh, Team USA won the first game, five, 600 to 582, and they dropped the second by it was 630 to 552, and working on something similar right now. Tim. Corey Patrick, who was on a spare, got a, got a nine, and he's got another. He's working on a perfect game. Let's not forget that. He's at 122 and a ball through nine. And Acer, who had been in a spare also, filled with eight, takes a nine. He's at 90. But open. Corey leaves a diamond. Six more to his total. 128. Acer can't connect. Four with four tens and five spares, looking for his sixth gear. All over the head front pin, but he five pin stands. Still we're gonna be, uh, after this match, we'll sign up, Bob. We're going to get ready for our defending champs. Price is what flooring up next. As I was about to say, Corey needs this pin here for a perfect game. There it is, 10. And a 138. And not one pin standing. Anyone even, those, who, those who know what a perfect game is know what that one was. Congratulations, Corey Packard. Five spares and five tens for Packard. Hazer for his part. Finished with a nine and a 99. Jeff Bajaya now with Justin Waters, the number four bowlers. Bajaya 77 through eight. All over the left side of the pocket. Waters is right. He's got the four horsemen left after hitting the three pin. Five and nine here. Clipped it thin and off the wall, but no love. Hey, spare for Waters. He needed that. 105 and the ball through nine. Acer, sorry, Virginia takes 10, 87, in the ninth. Virginia open, but pinning really well, and just as they say that, the strike in the tenth, he will face, gets his mark. Seven, eight, nine on the fill for Waters. He's at 114. Through nine complete. For the spare, he's good. Jaya on the spare. Waters at 124, each looking at their 11th racks. Jaya will get two. Waters grabs nine more in a 133. Jaya. Finishes with nine of his own in his fill for a 106. One mark 106. Great pinning. Vijayad started with two tens, two nines, two more tens, a nine, two more tens, and then that strike with nine fill. That's a 106. Waters had five spares. 
210 for his, his. Harris punching through Spread Eagle plus a talent on the nine pin there. Walsh has four horsemen minus the three still there. Oh, great. Oh, my goodness. The helicopter almost takes everything out for Harris, but it's 10 stands. That'll be an eight in the ninth for Walsh. As we wrap things up here. Nine for Harris. He's at 116. Bouncing ball into the one two pocket. And a strike for Harris. 126 for him in this game. Justin Waters finished with a 390. He's our top bowler here on lanes 35 and 36. Harris now with that 126, he's at 379. I think he's maybe out of reach of the 400. Yep. But now on the fill, Walsh finishes with a 104. He ended up with a pair of eights at the end. Eight on the first. Harris at 134. And that's where he will stay at 134. Third game. Congratulations. Another 600 finish. Scores uh, as we switch over to the uh, full view. And we're going to sign off in just a moment. You, you see the final scores. 18-22 to 16-57. It's going to be a 6-2 victory for Academy. They won big in the second and third strings. And they're going to move on. And we're going to shut down and try to reset our uh, station, Paul. Thank you very much. We'll see you in a